everybody, it's Brooke, and I am here today to bring you an FO review of the Baldrick Sweater by Isabel Kramer. The Baldrick Sweater is a top-down constructed sweater, and I think this, I'm pretty sure this is a raglan sleeve style, but we'll get back to that top construction in a second. And it's mostly stockinette with some garter stitch details on the sleeves and under the sides which are of course optional but do add a little flavor to it and the sizing on it is so that it's over oversized <coughs> excuse me oversized and slouchy i knit this out of knit picks city tweed hw um, which is a combination of merino alpaca and tweed and I was really happy with the yarn. It's so soft and squishy, and it makes a really nice fabric. Literally anything that you're thinking about doing with this yarn, I would say go ahead and buy it. I think it's one of Knit Picks better yarns that they offer. Now, on to the construction of the sweater. This sweater gave me a lot of headaches. The top, instead of being constructed where um, you just sort of start in a circle and you knit around and adjust how many increases you do to get the shaping of the back and the front or instead of starting in the back and then pick, adding casting on some stitches for the front when she got to a certain thickness you start on you cast all of your stitches and then you do a bunch of short rows which some of them end in the front some of them end in the back and it's a really confusing process and it actually took me um i had to frog it a couple times and I also had to go through and um, just take it one, like literally one set of short rows at a time, like per day for a week in order to actually even get started on it. After that, of course, it's pretty straightforward because it's a simple sweater, but I found that to be extremely confusing. And I don't know if it's just me and I'm not, you know, smart enough to visualize what the short rows were doing, but after that part, I honestly, I didn't even know whether I was on the back of the front until I got further down um, enough to be able to set it where the uh, shoulders were even so that you can see which side goes down a little bit. Now in blocking, of course, that has opened up so it's really clear what's the front and the back, but I really honestly didn't know and I actually had to adjust my start point once I did get to the body. So that is my feedback on the sweater is that um, it the beginning how you start it is quite confusing and I think could be done maybe in a different way that was a little bit clearer or something or at least tell you okay now you're on the front now you're on the back you know um, I don't know or maybe I just need more experience but that is my feedback on knitting the sweater and the only thing that could make it better were um yeah i think that's really the only thing that could make it better otherwise it's a great sweater a great pattern pretty straightforward um and quick compared to a fingering link sweater knit and the knit yarn is nice and beautiful as well that's it guys for my review of the baldrick by isabel kramer if you like this video definitely hit the like button down below and if you'd like to see more craft and lifestyle videos from me, definitely hit that subscribe button. As you all may know, re YouTube recently changed its partner role, so I am no longer a partner, even though I've been a partner since the <laughs> beginning of the partner program. And so uh, my goal instead of, my goal had been to get to 500 subscribers, but now my goal is to get back to, to get up to 1,000 subscribers so that I can become a YouTube partner again. And that will involve two things. That will involve one, your support, and liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos. And also that will require me to create more interesting and varied content, which I am excited and committed to do in 2018. So hopefully um, together we can help me reach that goal. And as well, if you'd like to support my channel in the interim, definitely feel free to check out my Patreon page, which will be linked below, where you can directly support me in exchange for some um, exclusive rewards. Alright guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.